the decrease in value of the asset is measured in the form of depreciation depreciation is calculated on the written down value that is wdb value of a block of asset any furniture fittings including electric installation on that also we will be charging 10% depreciation the provision for allowing depreciation is contained in section 32 of the income tax act 1961 Hello everyone I am Arun Kumar lecturer in department of commerce and management vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence mysore dear students welcome to this new session on unit number 1 that is depreciation which is there for 6th semester bba students who are studying under university of mysore so in this session we will be learning about the meaning of depreciation next block of assets conditions for claiming depreciation and we also learning about the depreciation rates as per the income tax act so we are going to cover this four topics in this particular unit so moving on to know the meaning of depreciation so it is very much important to know the meaning of depreciation in order to solve the problems or to understand the concept depreciation so what definition says or what this particular definition says the monetary value of an asset decreases over time due to use yes the monetary value of any asset whether it's a motor car or plant and machinery or building whatever the asset so the asset value will decreases over the time due to use yes by for using that asset the asset value will get decrease so for use wear and tear or obsolescence the decrease is measured as depreciation yes the decrease in value of the asset is measured in the form of depreciation so decrease is nothing but depreciating the value will becomes decrease on day by day because of using or for wear and tear of a particular asset so if it goes on using your cell phone okay you purchase the cell phone today and you want to sell it tomorrow the value will decrease because you used that cell phone for one day or another example you purchased a new car after one month you want to sell your new car no one will buy the car more than the purchasing price they'll ask you for less than the purchasing price right so if your purchasing price is like 5 lakh so they'll be asking you to give it for 3 lakh or 3.5 lakh or for 4 lakh right so they decrease the value of the asset because of what because of using that asset or for wear and tear of the asset the value will decrease so that is called the decreasing in the value of asset is called what depreciation next the provision for allowing depreciation is contained in section 32 of the income tax act 1961 so with respect to this depreciation all the provisions you can look into under section 32 of income tax act 1961 so giving depreciation with respect to companies act that is different with respect to income tax we have will be having some certain rules and regulations right so you can go through that rules and regulations under section 32 of income tax act 1961 next depreciation under the income tax act is a deduction allowed for the reduction in the real value of a tangible or intangible asset used by the taxpayer yes so depreciation under the income tax act is deduction allowance or the deduction allowed for the reduction in the real value yes deduction in the real value depreciation is nothing but reduction in the real value of tangible or intangible asset used by the taxpayer so the taxpayer or the assessee can claim the depreciation if that assessee used of any particular asset in the previous year so this is what the definition says this is what the meaning of depreciation so moving on to the next one that is block of assets so what is block of assets so block of assets with respect to depreciation depreciation is calculated on the written down value that is wdb value of a block of asset next block of asset means a group of assets falling within a class of assets comprising yes i'll give the example okay the example is like we have buildings so building 1 building 2 building 3 we have different buildings 
but buildings attracts different rate of tax so building 1 attracts 5% building 2 attracts 5% next building 3 attracts 10% so this buildings different buildings attracts different rate of depreciation so 5% 5% 10% and we also have like say uh, machinery so machinery attracts 10% and another machinery attracts 15% of depreciation rate so here the buildings which attract the same rate of depreciation buildings which attract the same rate of depreciation these two buildings falls under one block of asset because it is a building and it attracts the same rate of tax so building 1 and building 2 falls under same block of asset because it attracts the same rate of depreciation next building 3 which attracts 10% of tax it is a different block of asset next machinery 10% yes it is a different block of asset machinery another machinery 15% it is a different block of asset because the rate of depreciation of a particular set of assets should be the same okay it is not like all the buildings falls under one block of asset no even buildings attracts different rate of taxes the block of asset will also be different so here two buildings attracts 5 percent so those two buildings comes under one block of asset so this is called block of asset so here what the meaning says block of asset means a group of assets falling within a class of assets comprising yes like this like building 1 and building 2 which attracts 5 percent we call this to as block of asset next tangible assets being buildings machinery plant or furniture so these are the example for tangible assets next intangible assets being know-how patents copyrights trademarks licenses franchises etc so these are the examples for tangible and intangible assets and this is the meaning of block of assets so once again i'll explain you block of asset means a group of assets falling within a class of assets comprising tangible or intangible assets so the asset like building if the building which at attracts same rate of depreciation then it comes under one block of asset if it is attracting different rates of depreciation then it comes under different blocks of assets that is the main difference moving on conditions for claiming depreciation yes what are the conditions we have to claim depreciation so first condition is what asset must be owned by the SSE yes asset must be owned by the SSE that means whoever going to pay the tax to the government that person should be the real owner of the asset then only can claim the depreciation or else simply can't claim the depreciation if somebody is the owner of the particular asset then the SSE can't claim depreciation on those assets so he should be the real owner of the asset then only he can claim the second condition is what it must be used for the purpose of business or profession yes simply holding an asset no that asset should be used for the purpose of your business or to your profession then only you can claim depreciation on that particular asset so first the asset should be owned the asset should be owned by the SSE and it must be used for the purpose of business and profession next condition it should be used during the relevant previous year yes the asset should be used in the relevant previous year then only we will be considering to calculate the depreciation on that particular asset or else we will not be considering it for computation of depreciation with respect to that particular asset next depreciation is available on tangible as well as intangible assets yes depreciation is available on both the tangible as well as the intangible assets so these are the main conditions what we have you know to claim depreciation under income tax purview so what is the first condition the assessee should be the real owner of the asset and it must be used for the purpose of the business or profession and also the asset should be used during the relevant previous year and depreciation is available on both the tangible as well as intangible asset so moving on to know the rates for different different types of assets so depreciation rates as per the income tax act so the first asset is building 
in your exam sometimes they will be giving you the rate of depreciation directly in the problem sometimes they will not be giving you the rate of depreciation so if you know the rate of depreciation for each and every asset then it is very helpful to you to solve the problem at the exam time so that is why you have to listen to this very carefully so that you will get to know the rate of depreciation with respect to different types of assets so the first asset is what building so under building we have different types of buildings what is the first kind of building residential buildings except hotels and boarding houses residential building except hotels and boarding houses so what is the rate of depreciation for residential buildings it is 5% next non residential buildings like office factory or go down buildings yes if you are claiming depreciation on office factory or go down buildings the rate of depreciation is how much 10% next buildings acquired for installing machinery and plant forming part of water supply project or water treatment system and which is put to use for the purpose of business for providing infrastructure facilities under section 80 ia subsection 4 intersection i so for those kind of buildings it is 40% see you need not to worry about this third kind of building because in exams mostly they will be asking almost all the times they will be asking residential building on non residential building so what is the rate of depreciation for residential building 5% for non residential building 10% next one purely temporary erection such as wooden structure yes if you are constructing any temporary house with wooden structure then the rate of depreciation is how much 40% the rate of depreciation is how much 40% for temporary houses which will which constructed by wooden structure next furniture yes for furniture it is 10% the rate of depreciation is 10% any furniture fittings including electric installation on that also we will be charging 10% depreciation next plant and machinery general machinery and plant what is the rate of depreciation 15% next one motor car other than those used in business of running them on hire so all rented motor cars and all except those cars for those kind of cars it is 15% next aeroplane so what is the rate of depreciation 40% motor buses motor lorries and motor taxis used in business of running them on hire 30% next ships and vessels it is 20% plant and machinery used in semiconductor industries so rate of depreciation 30% next air pollution control equipments air pollution control equipments it is 40% so the rate of depreciation on computers it is 40% next moving on books on books it is 40% intangible assets that is on patents technical know how copyrights trademarks and licenses it is 25% of depreciation and typewriters it is 15% and surgical equipments and x-ray machines it is 15% so so far we discussed about four concepts that is the meaning of depreciation and block of assets and we also discussed about tangible and intangible assets and the rate of depreciation so i hope all of you understood the topic in today's session so we will be meeting you in the upcoming sessions so until then thank you all keep watching